Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I'd like to share with you some simple techniques that can get you motivated to do just about anything. Now, the hardest part of doing something is getting started. And see, the normal time when we set goals for ourselves are uh, first of the new year and we set all these goals that we're going to do and maybe lose weight, get fit, uh, go to the gym, etc, etc. And usually by three or four weeks we don't continue doing this because we push ourselves to go to the gym three or four times a week to eat nothing but lettuce and then after about three weeks or so our brain says I can't do this I'm exhausted and there's some cake in the fridge and it's calling me and I want to eat that cake so sod it gym or cake gym or cake cake has it and then it's like oh all the floodgates open and I carry on eating 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 and see we've pushed ourselves and we then link pain to carrying on now if you set a simple goal at the beginning of the year right I'm just going to do five minutes more exercise three times a week than I normally do and that's it. What will happen is nine times out of ten you may do your three hours a week at the gym but after week three and you feel oh god I'm exhausted I'm so tired you can still pat yourself on the back and think but I've done way 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 more than I initially said I was going to do and what's happened is I've lost a bit of weight, I've eaten healthy and the question to ask here is what do I need to learn to move on? Right, maybe going three times a week is a bit hard for me, I am exhausted, let's give myself a break today but tomorrow I'm going to force myself to do five minutes walking round the block and if I do just five minutes that's okay because you know I'm, I'm achieving my goals. And the cake in the fridge doesn't even come into it because you're focused on making it easy to succeed. Now the theory behind this five minute goal also will work with uh, starting any project. I use this a lot if I work with people who want to study for an exam. Um, I also give the example of if you set a goal right this week, three times this week, I'm going to do five minutes of going into that room and I'm going to tidy that room and get something done. What will happen nine times out of ten that you'll you'll find that 15 minutes go by and you'll stop and you'll look and you'll think hmm, still a mess but I can see I'm making progress now that starts to reinforce the pattern that yeah this is worth doing so there's there's growth here rather than pain linked to it and you can build a habit like this by keeping on keeping on if you do five minutes through gritted teeth and you think Ugh, you know three and a half minutes left right I'll move that box there I'll move this here I'll move that there and you make yourself do five minutes and you can still pat yourself on the back and say well I've done what I said I was going to do but as I said nine times out of ten you'll find that you'll get caught in the momentum they say um, emotion follows motion and motion also follows the emotion of taking the action of acting within a short space of time of just forcing yourself to do this five minute worth of whatever it is, if it's writing something, it's sitting down and looking at the bits of paper and even moving them into some sort of organised groupings, then what that will do is trigger off ideas to, you know, add a little bit more and it all starts to come together. So I hope this has been useful and I hope that you can get things done. Great talking to you now. Bye.